This is Nina Curley reporting for WAMDA. I'm here at the MENA Business Women's Network Forum in Dubai, here with Caroline Faraj, the CNN Arabic Digital Services Director and Editor, who also has 16 years of experience working for Arai and Jordan Times in Jordan. Caroline, how are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Great, so we just came out of a panel talking about business women in the media. And I'm curious, over your 16 years of working in media in the region, um, how have you seen business women portrayed in the media? How has that evolved? First of all, I've been working in, in the region for 27 years. Uh, but I worked on different levels. I worked on national, regional, and now I'm working with the international, which is CNN. So um, it's it's pretty uh, long experience. And I can tell you there's a huge difference between the starting point when I started uh, uh, in the 80s up until now when it, when it comes to business women and dealing with women. It was, at the beginning, it was uh, not hard to find them, but they, both both sides, they were hard to basically even to to admit that they are business women and to appear on uh, on the in, on camera, and uh, and of course because they are not appearing, it was also a, a very challenging mission for us as media people to try and dig and find and look for them, and then go to the second phase, which is convince them to appear on you know, on the on the screen or to talk to the media. So and then after that, the second stage was like they agreed, started to agree to talk to the media, the print and the written media only and not appearing on, uh, on uh, TV or talk to the radio even. And then gradually things started to, to be better. Now it's, it's, it's much better. You can see some women uh, uh, appearing on the media, but they are so little compared to the number of, of uh, business women and, and women in the, in the societies. And, you know, they're more than 50% of the population in the Arab world, which is everywhere as well. And they are qualified. They're, uh, they're, uh, they're doing lots of uh, good stuff. But they're either they're not aware that they are really doing good stuff, or they are not really uh, able or capable to, to represent themselves. And if they do, they, they need training. So you don't really have the time to go and talk to somebody and see that they are talking for like half an hour to give you one idea. You don't have the time. Now the media is like so quick. So what can women do to get their stories out there and to be concise? First of all, they need to uh, be sure of their story. That it's not regular story, traditional story that is also found everywhere, especially in their own small societies. So if they're doing something that's different, so how different it is, they need to ask themselves, uh, who cares? How important it, uh, this story is, and then after that, they need to also, uh, you know, to have recognition within their own. Uh, society. Now, somebody who is starting up things, everybody starts. Now, the challenge is to continue and to make a difference. So if they are able to do that and they manage to do that, they will, you know, they need to reach out to the media, not to depend only on the media to know about them, because if they are recognized and they are known, then they will attract me as a media person. But at the same time, they need to communicate with the media and not to expect if, if they got in touch with me that they have to appear on CNN or they appear, appear some on, on, the, on the website. They need to build this relationship to get to know each other, understand each other. And here I need to reiterate that they don't need to get, to get in touch only with female and women journalists. They have to get in touch with a media person no matter male or female. If they have a message and they have something, then they can basically appear. The last thing is they have to be trained how to, to deal with the media. Instead of giving you half an hour lecture with basically hard to take a, a sound bite, it would be too difficult. Even if you're telling me the best story ever, you need to know what exactly you have. You have to train yourself to get to the special training and to, to know your mission statement clearly. Bullet points, put it and do rehearsal at home. Do rehearsal with your family and your friends. And if, when you're ready and you have a good connection with the media, go for it. Is CNN Arabic hungry for these stories? Absolutely. The good story is, is always needed no matter what. And when I say good story, it might be a positive story, it might be a negative, a, a, a negative story. So the good story is good story. You cannot ignore it. If I ignore it as a platform, as a CNN, no matter, any, any new, even WAMDA, if you see a good story, you always look for it. So you don't go and look for the regular stories that they're always like everywhere. You always look for the good story. And if I failed as a media person with my experience as a 27 years and more, then I am a good story for you. It might not be a good story to tell you about myself, but I'm a good story for you. So you look for me and you ask me what was, what was wrong, what, what went wrong. So you need, this is how you look for the, it's a headline, it's the news, and then how I present my story, whether positive or negative. So you're encouraging women to talk about their challenges, which is something that we also very much do. Um, where can women turn for training, for media training? Where can they look to for resources? 
Well, there, there, uh, recently some media, uh, uh, members of the media, they started to, when they are growing like in the media, they started to go and establish their own uh, centers. Some people, they do voluntary uh, work as well, but there are some centers who are specialized in training. And when I say training, it's, it's a general training that they can get. But of course, for senior management, usually they give even more, more training. And we all need training. There's nothing called that, you know, I'm the best person on earth. I always need to, to learn new things, there are new techniques. Now with the social media, we all need to learn how the social media. With the youngest member of my team, he knows about social media and the technique of social media, reaching out to hundreds and million of million people better than me with all my experience. So it's a sharing thing. We complement each other. So they have to absorb the new media and they have to accept it and to be available everywhere, whether positive or negative. Well, thank you so much, Caroline, for chatting with us at WAMDA. Thank you very much, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.